Happening today, student athletes and their parents all across the state, including groups from the South Bay to the North County, going to hold rallies urging the governor to allow all youth sports to return to play. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell lays out the factors that are being considered. As the debate continues over whether or not youth sports should be allowed to continue in California, those who support kids returning back to play are working to send a message to Sacramento today. It's been 10 months since youth sports teams have had any playing time. The state locking things down because of the coronavirus pandemic. And those who support the grassroots effort Let Them Play initiative are keeping the pressure on Governor Newsom, each organizing rallies in support of reopening youth sports. Supervisor Jim Desmond, who supports this group, had this to say when asked about how he plans to tackle the pandemic while allowing kids to return to sports. When they're home, they're wearing the masks. They're taking all the safety precautions. A lot of these kids will listen to the coach before they'll listen to their parents. And this is where the CDC stands on this issue. On their website, it says the risk of a COVID-19 spread increased based on the number of people a participant interacts with, how close they physically are to others, and if they share equipment with multiple players. Supervisor Nathan Fletcher says right now is not the time to ignore the advice from health officials. If you're facing third and long, you ought to really listen to football coaches. Uh, if you're facing a global pandemic, uh, that is a situation where you ought to make sure uh, you're listening to public health experts. And these are the state guidelines. They've ranked each sport based on whether it's indoors or outdoors and then classified them under three categories, low contact, moderate contact or high contact. They are then grouped by risk tier. Those in the purple include sports like cross country, swimming and tennis, mostly outdoor sports with minimal contact. Then it's broken down to red, orange and yellow. Under this plan, the sports in the purple tier could start practicing February 1st. Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.